I am now editing my tracks. We listen. I'm standing six inches in front of the Studio Project C1. The C1 is... So what you see here is I have my uh, sound room recording, and I've already gone through and chopped out the bad parts. And we have that there. The next thing I want to do is adjust the volume so it's consistent. So here's an example. If I hit play... The cardioid large dot... The difference in volume between this part... Things. I'm standing now six inches... So there's a little bit of a volume difference. And what I want to do is I want to regulate these things. If I click right here, I get all kinds of options I can do to affect this track, or in this case, the stereo track. And volume is the first one, and you'll see this line right here. Which is in front of the Shure SM58. So this increases the volume. The SM58. This will lower the volume. Boy, dynamic microphone. Now I'm going to set it back to its normal setting. When I get here, if this is a little bit louder, I click once, and I put in a, a point, and I grab the line, and look what it does. It brings it down. Now I don't want to do that. I don't want it to get lower over time. What I want to do is put in a second point, and here is where I'll adjust. And if I zoom in, you can see real close, if I get right in there, I have it descending here. I'm going to move this here so before the sound even changes, I'm going to have it come down just a little bit. And if I zoom back in, whoop, I can get this whole track part, and I can put another dot there. So you can see this process where I'm zooming in and out, moving around, seeing where I want to increase or decrease the volume. And so I'll go through and I'll adjust it so that the volume is consistent. And there's some spots where it's pretty noticeable. If I click here, I'm now standing one inch away from the SM58. And that was the difference of its 50th anniversary next year, 2016. I'm now standing one. So the proximity effect is really dramatic here. You can even see the sound waves uh, look a lot different. Let me, uh, here they're a lot smaller. You're not seeing as much of a variance. Uh, here is one big wedgie. They're kind of all lumped together. It's a lot boomier, and that's the proximity effect that you're hearing. So you can see down here, I've got all my pieces. Here I'll adjust the volume so it's consistent throughout, and it takes a little bit of time. So again, clicking right here, selecting volume, checking up and down, and just listen back and forth over and over again until you're happy. And if you want to then hide that, you just turn that off, and now you're just back to the regular looking track. So that is adjusting the volume for consistency throughout a track.